gets into the computer, just for you to know, so that it doesn't happen again in the future. Right. How old this computer is? Um, I think it's six six years old. There are three major reasons. Number one, if in case you go to any of the unsecured website, whenever you see any website that starts with an HTTP on it, that's an unsecured and it's an unprotected website. Okay. All right. Which means, whichever website you visit, make sure it has a HTTPS on it, wherein S stands for secure, and it's a completely protected website. Okay. Okay. Number two, it happens if in case you download any unsecure file on the computer. Yeah. Might be the download coming from a third-party website, might be from an email, or whatever it is you're downloading on the computer. And number three, it happens if in case there is no protection or no security on the computer. Okay. So, what do you think you were up to when you actually got these kind of problems on the computer? Um, I was just going on Google and stuff. Okay. And do you have any protection on the computer or no? Uh, no. I don't think so. Uh, let me check. No, I don't see anything here. All right, so, so what I'll do is I'll be diagnosing your computer to check if in case there is any security issues going on the computer, and we'll come to know about it, okay? Okay. Okay? So I'm going to run one of our own diagnostic tool, which is going to perfectly work for, for me to check for any security issues on the computer, and it's not going to allow me to do so. So just a moment. So what do you use this computer for? Because I see, you know, it's a Windows XP computer. So what do you use this computer for? Uh, just, you know, YouTube, stuff like that. So is this the only computer that you have with you, or there are, like, different computers in your house? Um, I have a laptop. Okay. Yeah. No, I do see you have a free security on the computer, which is a free AVAST on the computer. You have that. Um, okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Give me a moment. So, like, so are you doing uh, this? Doing what? What's that? Doing what? Like, are you pressing the buttons on the keyboard? No, it it usually just does that randomly. Not sure why. All right. So there are problems that's already detected on the computer. It recommends me to run a full scan on the computer. The complete scan is gonna take some time. Are you okay with it? Um. Yeah. All right. All right, we'll have to wait for this. See, sir, you have AVAST on the computer. Okay. Now, AVAST is a third-party security. Okay. And after all, the kind of a security you have is a free one. Okay. Is a free one. Uh, to be very honest, we all know how free things work. They have limitations on it. Okay? Okay. Oops. So, what do you mean, like, what limitations? Is it, like, really bad? See, or so, something? any... What's that? Does it make it, like, bad or useless or something? No, so. A... Okay. Now, let me give you an example. Okay. See, if in case you purchase something for free, and you know, and when you pay for something, there is, al there is always a difference for a free product and for something that you pay, correct? Yeah. A free product might not work the same way as a paid one works. Yeah? 
might it be on the computer, might it be on your real life on a daily basis, correct? So yeah. we need to ensure that rather than having a free security on the computer, that to a third-party security, though AWAST is a good security, but having a third party and then to a free one on the computer, not provide you, a, you know, like a complete protection on the computer. So in that case, I'll check if in case we can go ahead and make sure the the main security, the one from Microsoft, is working on the computer. No, I'll do that. Okay. So we'll have to wait for the to oh. complete because it's, it's going to take some time. Okay. Oh, okay. How, how long are you expecting it to take? Or how long does so it I'm take? running a comp I'm running a complete scan, so I'm assuming it should take at least 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, we'll have to wait. If in case you have an option, please put me on speaker on the phone because I have to do a complete scan to get the computer taken care of for 100% resolution. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, so thank you so much. You can take me off from the speaker now. Okay. okay. All right, so well, unfortunately, what I see, the scan has completed quick fast on this computer. Okay, and it has detected 259 problems on it, which is a really huge in number. Okay. Now, a good computer should not have had even one of these problems on it, not even one. And if you read out the result of the scan, it's quite self-explanatory. You'll come to know what is it talking all about. Okay. So these problems has to be removed to ensure you have a number one. I'll go ahead and make a note of it so that I remember while fixing the computer. 259. These problems has to be removed manually now from the computer so that not only the pop-ups go ahead, plus you also have these security problems removed from the computer. Number two, if in case you want, I'll ask my technician to make sure the, the main security, the one from Microsoft on this computer, will go and activate it. That's a free one. If in case you want, I can do that for you right now. Okay? Okay. And if in case you're also having issues with the performance of the computer, like you realize the computer running slow, because I do. I do realize the computer is running slow, which means there could be like certain chunk and unwanted things which has to be removed from the computer. So it needs, in complete words, it requires a servicing on the computer, which would again be done remotely by our technicians. But there is going to be charges for the service. So, so tell me what are you going to go for, a one-time charge, or do you want to go for an extended warranty on the computer? Um, which one would you say is better? See, of course the warranty is better because once you have the warranty on the computer, you have 100 problems on the computer throughout the year, 100 problems gets fixed free of cost. You can also call us each month to get the computer serviced, which means cleaned up and tuned one, which is going to make the life of the computer good, and of course it's going to work as a brand new computer. Okay. So I'll give you options. Let me know financially what's going to be sound for you. Okay. If you go for a one-time charge, it usually costs you one forty-nine ninety-five. If in case you want to go for an extended warranty, you'll have to add up extra fifty dollars. So one forty-nine ninety-five plus fifty dollars. That makes up makes it up to one ninety-nine ninety-five. Okay. That's how it goes. So extended warranty. Uh, Uh, 
extended warranty. Um, so there's no like time period. It's just a hundred problems. No, it's it's not like a hundred problems. I gave an example here. Even you have like three hundred problems, you call us each month, get all the problems fixed free of cost. That's how it goes. In simple words. So, so there is no limitation to the number of problems. So this is for one month then. Which one? The, oh, sorry. I'm the, sorry. This this is only for one month. The one-time charge is for a one-time fix, which gives you a seven days of warranty. An extended warranty is for a year's time, which is starting today. Okay. That's how it goes. Even if in case you have a printer on the computer, even your printer would be a part of the warranty. You have issues with passwords, a virus, spyware, whatever it is. Plus, the services are transferable, which means if in case you want to convert the warranty from this computer to the other computer in the house, you can even do so. So that's yeah. another advantage that it gives you. Okay. Um, I guess I'll do that. Which one? The warranty part? The, okay. uh, the extended. Or, sure, I'll do that. Or else I'll give you a third option because you mentioned you have a different computer in the house. If in case you add up extra $100 to $199.95, it gives you warranty on the other computer too in the house. That's how it goes for Neo's time. So it's like two ninety nine ninety five instead of. Okay. That's how it goes. So say for one computer you pay two hundred dollars. For the other computer, if you get it sub under the warranty period, it's gonna just be like hundred dollars extra. That's all. Okay. So which one do you wanna go for? An extended warranty for one computer, for two computers? And uh, the best part is you can add up to three computers for two ninety nine ninety five. So say tomorrow, even if in case you purchase a new computer, even that's gonna be part of it. Um, I guess. Which one? I guess I'll do that one, the one you just said. For the up to three computers. Yeah. All right, so I've already pulled up the registration link on the computer. You have to fill up this form. It covers up to three computers here. You see this here? Three PCs. Okay. All right, just a moment. I think the form that disappeared. Yep, type in your name here. Wait, could I ask you about a, a, a program that my friend sent me? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, Tell me, want... which one? It's a, oh, yeah, you can do that. It's a... Yeah, I'll... Oh. I'm sorry. Okay, which one? He sent me this and he wanted me to test it, but it, I'm not able to open it. Do you know how I can fix that? Here.exe? Oh, where'd it go? Where did it go? I was I was holding uh, it and then you moved it, I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What, uh, oh, is it hey, this is the one? No, it was, it was uh, maybe it's in the recycle bin. No. Maybe, no. I think it, maybe... It, to a folder or uh, okay let me wait, let me, I let have me a, go to the recent oh wait, uh, yeah recent files I have a USB yep, recent files yeah I have a uh, I have this here. Um, I'm sorry yeah it's alright there we go yeah there we go. Yeah, here. Yeah. That's uh, all. Because what? Why does it do that? So it's it's been blocked by the, the tool that I downloaded on the computer, so it seems it's an unsecured download on the computer. That's the reason it gets moved off whenever you open it on the computer screen. Uh, okay. okay. All right, so I try to open it, and we realize that it disappears all of a sudden because the tool that I download on the computer is preventing the file, which means it seems to be an unsecure file on the computer. Okay. All right. So I'll have to make sure if in case there is a problem that's removed from the computer, then we will be able to open the other file on the computer, okay. the one you're talking about. Okay. So that's the tool is blocking it up.
All right. So that's the registration page. You, once you fill it up, I'll assign a technician. We'll work on the computer remotely for a half an hour or, say, 30 minutes' time. We'll call you back once the services are done on all the two computers. Okay. Okay, so just start filling up the information right from your first name. Okay. Um, I don't... Uh, no, leave the company blank, sir. Leave the company blank. It has uh, to be a phone number then. Type in the city, yeah. Okay. What is this? Why are there so many? Okay, icons? that's all. That's all. I can leave it, leave it, sir. It's gonna bring too many alerts on the computer. Yeah, Okay, asking. it says hacked, hacked. Leave I was, it. I was asking why Touch on here. I was, ask, I was asking why there's so many. So many icons. That's okay, you know, it has it has opened up multiple pages on the computer. What's that? That's an alert that's coming up on the computer, sir. So, wait for not me. sure what happened here. Uh, uh, wait, what does that say? I can see you. What is that supposed to mean? No, I'm not sure. It's like pop-ups on the computer. Let me go and close them one by one. Just a moment. All right. Okay, that's okay. Now you can fill up the information. Please fill up the information, uh, you know, quickly because it's making problems for me. Oh, okay. okay. But they said it's I, creating problems for me. Can we do it on another page? Because they just said I can see you. What's that? that? So that's okay. It's it's not a problem. You know, it's unwanted pop-ups that's coming on the computer now, and the computer's in a diagnostic mode, so you don't have to worry about it. Wait, it's what? Okay. Diag the computer's in a diagnostic mode. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So I can fill it okay. out here, it'll be fine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's completely okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh. Okay, where's my... I just gotta get my... Uh, what you call it? What do you... I forgot. Wallet? Okay. gift card. Uh, do you guys take a debit MasterCard? That's okay, sir. Any card that you want to put on. A Visa, a Master, a Discover, you have the drop down there. So that's okay with okay. Wait, do we sense the card on the card number on the card where it says my name? It's in caps. Should I put it in caps on here too? That's okay. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if I have it doesn't it in matter. caps or not. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Just a moment. These problems are 
creating for us. Or else let me do this, you know, let me process the payment on my end. So may I have your card numbers, please? Okay. I, uh, when should I tell you them? Yeah. When should I tell you them? Should I tell you them now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah, go it's, ahead. Uh, 5166 um 1260 okay 0528 mm -hmm. 4 wait what what were the last numbers i said to you 0528 this? I'm not sure, sir. These are all unwanted pop-ups which has to be removed from the computer. The computer is like messed up. You're having too many problems on the computer. Okay? I thought you had the spyware stuff. Why would I be the spyware stuff, sir? The problems on the computer, so that has to be removed from the computer. No, you said you okay. installed that program that would fix this. Of course. So the the program has not yet fixed the computer. The program has looked for the problems on the computer. So it only tells I'll you? I'll help you to get the problems. F I'm sorry? So it only tells you? Like it only tells you the problem? Or? It only tells you the problem. Once I get you registered, it's only then we'll start working on the computer and get the problems removed from the computer. So. Okay? Okay. So, um, but so until unless I do not get to register, I won't be able to assign a Windows expert to work on the computer. Okay. So, what do I? What was the last thing I told you? You were giving me the card numbers. Oh. Uh, what was I at? Let's start all over again. Okay. Five one six six. One two six zero. Mm -hmm. Did you get that? Yes, sir. Zero five two eight. Mm -hmm. um, four six seven five. All right. May I have the expiration date? Um, where it says card expires. Mm -hmm. uh, it's six. Then it's got the slash. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Then it's got, oh, 24. The year is? The year? What do you mean the year? Mm -hmm. It's six slash. What do you have? Um, 624. All right. May I have the CVV number on the back of the card? The C oh, the three-digit three chart on the back, right? Mm -hmm. It's 923. All right, sir. Now, you'll have to give... And this is a master or a Visa card? Um, debit. A debit. So is this a master or a visa card? Um, oh, master card. A master card, okay. You'll have to give me like two minutes of your time. Let me go and process the payment and get back to you in the next two minutes. Okay? All right? Okay. So just stay with me on the line. So thank you so much.
All right, thank you so much for being on the line, sir. Get me the phone number. Get me your phone number, please. Your, my phone number? Mm-hmm. 601-274-4727. All right, so I'll go ahead and process the payment, which is for two ninety nine ninety five for one year of up to one year of support for up to three computers on your credit card statement on your bank statement the charge would appear under the name of myphonesupport.com slash bill each and everything is going to be documented and sent to you on this email address the one at gmail.com right away all right okay. okay so just give me a moment all right so uh get me the card numbers again i believe you didn't give me the right card numbers um, can you read to me what I gave you? Sure. I have with me is 5166. Okay. 126. Okay. 00. 528-4675. Wait, what were the last, the last digits? 4675. 4672? 4675. Oh, seven five. Okay. Um, I think it's uh, it's four six seven four. Do you have the card with you? Yeah, I have it right in front of me. So what's the last number? Four. And may I have the expiration date on the card? Um, six twenty five. You said it's six twenty four. Well, it's 25. So, card information is something which is very sensitive. So, I will ensure, please provide me with the right details, or else there is a system that will not go through. The payment will not go through. Okay. It's 25. Okay. So, please read it twice before you provide me with the information. Ensure you're reading it right. Okay. okay. So, what's the card numbers? The expiration date? 624, I mean 25. Six, is it 624 or 625? 625. 625. 625. And the last digit on the card is? Uh, 4. 4. And the CVV number on the back of the card is? 922. The last time you said it to me as 923. It's 922. I don't I don't really have that good vision. And the name on the card? Uh Tommy Carter. No, sir, I'm sorry, but you're not providing with the right details. In that case, can you have a different card, sir, so that you can I can go ahead and help you with the payment? Yeah? Uh, hey, can I tell you something? Yes, please, go ahead. Why, why are you scamming me? Why would I scam you, sir? Give me a reason for this. Um, because I've called you guys about three weeks ago and you guys scammed me then, too. We scammed you. Uh, which company are you looking for? Which company you're calling in, sir? Look, I'll show you. See, I'm not scamming you. I didn't even force you to make this payment of two ninety nine ninety five. I just gave you options to get the computer fixed. You said, Correct? but you said this was an error report. This is a fake pop up. That's advertisement pop up. That's correct. But you said it was an error. That something's wrong with my computer. You highlighted it and showed it to me. And said that. <clears throat> I never said it's an error on the computer. Okay. okay. It's an alert on the computer, which actually stops the customers from doing anything on the computer. Yeah, but it was a fake okay. pop-up. So that's blocking you. That's not allowing you to do anything much on the computer, sir. Yeah, you said the customer, so that means that you're saying that that was helping someone? What do you want me to do on the computer, sir? Let's get to the point. I just want to show you something. All right. Sure.
See right here? Uh huh. My phone support. No scam. Um, about three weeks ago. I uh, called you guys. Uh, it seems you're still scamming people. And, uh, it's not a scam yeah. show. I showed you problems. Oh. See, you to be very honest, you know, I'm so sorry to interrupt you here. I'm so sorry to interrupt you here, so. Okay, number one. Okay, the computer has problems on it. You are getting alerts on the computer. You're getting advertisement pop-ups on the computer. You're getting unwanted pop-ups on the computer, too. You realize there are problems on the computer, correct? Yeah. So, all right. So you realize you have problems on the computer. I gave you options. We offer technical support to our customers. So there is no way whenever you call us, as I mentioned, even if in case you have 100 problems on the computer throughout the year, you call us 100 times, get 100 problems fixed free of cost. But I, you said that that pop-up was the computer trying to stop the customer. Of course, it is stopping you. Did it allow you to do anything on the computer? Did it allow you to go to Google Chrome and do anything on the computer? Did it allow well, me to do something on the computer? No, it didn't, well, correct? Well, no, because cause they wanted me to call that number so they can try and take my money. See, sir, so that's what, that's what, you never asked me this question, correct? If in case you want, you could have reached the phone number. Yeah, I, could, I already called them. You there? Yeah, I am. Yeah, but I, I've already called those people and they've been exposed as a scam too. Well, I'm not sure, sir, what kind of experience you ever had with other okay. companies. Okay. I'm not sure the kind of alert message that you have on the computer. Okay? I'm not sure about these things. The only thing that I gave you is I gave you options to get the computer fixed. If in case you're okay with it, I can assign a technician, take care of things for you. If in case, no, it's up to you. It's your computer at the end of the day. Did you see the I'm video? I'm just here to give you options. Look, let me show you. Okay. What's that? I show, I, did you see the video I showed you? Yeah. Of the, of, it was about three weeks ago, right? Mm-hmm. So I sent you that video. Look, let me show you. This is of your guys' place. It's still the exact same number. I went to my phone support, your website, got the number again, and the lady s scanned me like she was trying to scam me. So how do you explain that? I mean... So the lady, I'm not sure whom we actually spoke to. We just give options to the customers to get the computer yeah, yeah. fixed. Try to understand. Try to understand this. Yeah. Different customers have different kind of reviews. Okay. This isn't a review. Different this customers isn't. have different have kind video. of reviews. If I, I take video. you... I have a video. That's okay. That's okay. That's what I'm saying. You know, different people have different kind of reviews. There are people who are happy with the services. There are people who are not satisfied with the services. What we can ensure is make sure we do provide 100% satisfaction, 100% customer service to our customers. That's all we can do. What do you mean 100% satisfaction? 100% customer service, 100% technical support to our customers so that the customers do not face any kind of a technical issues on the computer. That's all I can do. Okay. All right. If in case you want to go for the support, that's up to you. If in case no, it's your computer at the end of the day. I already gave you options. Yeah. But okay. Is there anything else I can help too. you with? this too. That's okay. I know that. You do? I know that. Well, yeah. here, I have another question for you. you s did you see all those pop-ups and the chat boxes and everything? Mm -hmm. If that was happening and there was a hacker on my computer, why would you let me put my credit card info in? Did I say you have hackers on the computer? No, but there, were obviously, there obviously was somebody on the computer with the chat box. I mentioned... No. I mentioned these are pop-ups on the computer. These are unwanted pop-ups on the computer. So that, that chat box... I never box. said you have a hacker on the computer. You don't think there's a hacker on the computer? No. There is no hacker on the computer. And I never mentioned those two on the call, did I? No. Can you see that? You, know, you wouldn't call that mm -hmm. a hacker? Mm-hmm. 
You wouldn't call that a hacker? No. Did I mention, sir? You're really getting into things. So let uh, please answer my question before you go ahead. Okay. Did I mention you have a hacker on the computer? No. So this conversation is leading nowhere. So I'll have to disconnect the call. No, I said no. Okay. Just keep talking. Explain. I want to hear this. No, that's okay. I already explained to you, but you know the thing is, you don't want to answer my okay. questions. You're just sticking to one particular point that your people scam me. Why is there a chat no box? Way. Why is there a chat box there? How's that just a pop-up? Which why is, is there... no way. So answer my question, sir, before you go ahead. Or else, there is no. This conversation is leading nowhere. I'll have to disconnect this call. What's your question? Okay. What's your question? All right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to disconnect the call. Thank you so much for calling my phone support. You're, have a wonderful day. You're a retard. Kill yourself. That's what you should really do. Make the world a better place. Freaking ah, scammer. He's still connected too. I sent the, I sent the rap file to him, but it seems he hasn't opened anything. So it's nothing connected. I'm not sure if he is gonna open it. sentiment but I'm not sure if he's gonna he does open it I'm just gonna wipe his computer right now with the rat so uh, he canceled one file transfer but the first one was successful and it put it says that it said that it put it on his desktop so we'll see still connected. Oh, he uh, disconnected the session. Hopefully he clicks on it. Um, so if he does, you see I made a bunch of copies of the rat. Um, if he does, then I'll be able to connect to his computer and just, I don't even have to see his screen. I want to look at it though. I really do want to look at one of their screens. Um, gosh, alright. Probably going to do a live stream today for 100 subs, but yeah. Um, so, if, well this is probably going to go up after that.